Welcome to Seasoned. My name is Jason and I'll be walking you through my opinion of Arrow. Both seasons 1 and 2, completely spoiler free. Completely. If I can recommend this show to you, I'd like to do so without ruining your possible viewing experience for it. At the end, I'll give an overall A to F grade for the season, so it's not just based off one or two bad episodes. Let's get started. Arrow follows Oliver Queen, playboy millionaire made into a hardened archer vigilante by being stranded on a hellish island for five years, and is based off the DC comic superhero The Green Arrow. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this double review is that, well, doing a review of just season one of Arrow could turn people away from an otherwise solid show. Honestly, I didn't enjoy season one as much as I wanted to. The side characters were dull and worked against the fun parts of the show with their own personal dramas we cared little about. The show has filler episodes up the wazoo and it can be a terrible grind. The best parts of season one are all to do with Ollie being a badass, being a true vigilante who can kill without hesitation. He's an interesting broken character and that's only strengthened by the island flashbacks that help drive the plot both in present day and also in showing how Ollie turned from a playboy dickhole into a full-blown vengeful survivor. Besides this and season 1's fantastic endgame, everything else seems to get in the way of the interesting and fun bits. Season 2 by contrast feels like a completely different show. It drops a lot of the teen drama nonsense and starts catering to its comic book roots. The villain of season 2, not going to spoil it, is by far one of the most intimidating, well-developed, badass and scariest villains I've seen on screen. Arrow season 2 uses its 22 episodes quite well, surprisingly, to drip feed the plot developments bit by bit, so it all feels paced pretty well and really builds up to a giant finale, despite being a little slow in the beginning. If season 1 introduces us to Ollie, season 2 introduces us to his universe and then through that universe at him. It's a series that's clearly learned how to respect its comic book source material. Season 1 by contrast seemed like it wanted to be taken more seriously than a superhero show should be, being dark and brooding to look all adult and edgy when really it should embrace itself for what it is and revel in it, and leave the teen drama at the door. The action however is solid throughout both seasons, though Season 1 is a lot more brutal than Season 2, which instead gets a lot more comic booky and fun as it progresses. For me, the fun is a good thing, it's where the show really shines but a lot of people may be jarred by the shift in tone. The acting is fine, script and dialogue is alright too. It's all what you'd expect. Superhero fun, not to be taken seriously. Overall though, Season 2 is just a better quality show that listens and appeals to its fan base a bit more and has a more consistent streak of good episodes. And it gets why superheroes are fun to watch. It doesn't completely lose the teen drama aspect, but it is dialed down enough to not be as much of an issue. Do you like superheroes? If yes, Arrow is worth it for Season 2. It's good action-packed superhero fun with an extremely average first season. If you don't like superheroes, I'd avoid this one. It's not for everyone, especially if you're sick of the recent superhero trend. Do I recommend watching all of season one? Um, I'm sure a lot of Arrow fans would say yes, but I personally wouldn't agree. It's such a mixed bag though, with great moments dotted around, well, shite. I'd recommend trying season one for yourself first, but if you get bored with it, find a recap of season one and then just jump to season two where all the goodness happens. Arrow Season 1 gets a C- and Arrow Season 2 gets a B+. Quite a large gap of quality there. And that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out and it'll help you out if you want to look at future videos when they come out. It helps you keep track. Next week I'll be doing an episode on Orphan Black Season 1. If you've never seen Orphan Black before, why not watch my review? I'm sure it'll be very informative. Or maybe you're just trying to get someone into Arrow. Maybe you could send them this video. I don't know. But thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you later.